Hello again. Here we are. No, we're not going to talk anymore about fertilizers, but we do have a few questions that I did not answer in in the video. Uh, Claire asked about that. Or Claire answered about the mystery plant. I asked, and yes, it was a raspberry. Raspberries send out runners, so that little plant actually it has a little brother or sister right next to it sent out runners from the main raspberry bed and decided that that was a great place to come up and start growing again. Later on in the season, I'm going to dig that up and put that little guy, both little guys, back into the raspberry bed and keep them trained to where they're supposed to grow. <laughs> anyway, good answer, Claire. You had the raspberry correct. Claire also asked why the hay for the squash. Well, it's straw, not hay. Hay has a lot of seeds in it. Straw is, is kind of a, um, it won't go to seed like hay does. But I put that down to hold uh, moisture in the soil so the sun doesn't evaporate all of that, the watering that I do to keep my plants, you know, healthy. So I put a thick layer down and I just did the squash. That was the only one I had done. I'm gonna be doing the tomatoes and also the peppers. Okay, Sophie asked um, about the cardboard. So there's cardboard all around the, the raspberry patch and that's cause I've got a lot of weeds, Sophie. Um, you were correct in thinking it was weeds. Um, I'm trying to kill off the weeds. I'm gonna put some compost down over that. Weed out as much as I can. Most of the weeds and everything are, are dead underneath that cardboard. So I'm gonna start building up the soil on top of that so the, the raspberries have a, a better place to live. Okay, uh, Sophie also asked about the bottles. <laughs> yes, um, again, I am not growing bottles in my garden. I've had these for about three, four years now. When the weather gets very hot and very dry and we haven't had a lot of rain, I use those bottles. They have small little pin pricks in them all around the sides and down at the bottom. I fill them with water and it slowly releases the water way down deep to those tomato plants. Uh, the tomato plants need a lot of water and they benefit for a lot of water. So I use those. I, all the tomato plants don't have the bottles. I just didn't get to it this year, but some of them do and I fill them up with water and it gradually drains and it goes to their root system. Anyway, so good question, Sophie. And so the winner of this week's question of the week has got to go to Sophie for her bottle question. Congratulations, Sophie, and a prize will be winging your way as soon as I can get it out. All right, everybody, thanks for another great week. Keep those questions coming. And as Dan always says, make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. All right, thanks so much for watching. See you next week.